Okay, so we've seen live preview and what happens when we move our mouse over various fill formatting options and line formatting options and text formatting options. But what is Visio really doing? Is it just doing some sort of trick on the existing drawing page that we're looking at and just shifting colors or, or is it actually updating real values in the Visio drawing? Well, the easiest way to test how live Live Preview is is to create some smart shapes and see if they actually change as we do our Live Preview. So I've created a rectangle here on the page. You'll notice the new Visio 2010 handles. After so many years, the green handles are gone, and now we've got blue handles, so we look like a regular office app. Anyway, this shape displays its red component and its luminosity. And this is done via the shape sheet, which I'll show you right here. But this is probably going to be a little bit too small for you to see in the video. So I'll just explain a few things. The pin X and pin Y cells govern the position of the shape, and they are guarded both guarded so that I can't actually move the shape with the mouse. I'm clicking and dragging here and nothing's happening. That's because of the guards. And these are both referring to some user cells that have created lower down in the shape sheet. I've got a user.red cell that picks out the red uh, component of the fill color of the shape. And I've also got a user.loom cell that picks out the luminosity. And then I've got a user.piny cell that picks a Y value based on that red component. The, the highest red component will be to the top of the page. The lowest will be at the bottom. And then I've got a user.pinx cell that moves the shape left to right based on its luminosity. So let's close the shape sheet and see what happens when we actually do live preview on this shape. So I've selected the shape. I go to the fill dialog and you can see We've got white up here, black goes to the lower left, no luminosity, no red. When we go red, oddly enough, the red is at the top. We've got the full red component, but luminosity is in the middle. Luminosity is a little bit weird. I have to go back and look at that, why that is, but that's correct. As we move over to yellow, we can see yellow still has a high red component, oddly. But as we go to green, the red component starts moving down. And as we go to blue, dark blue, we've got a very, we've got a non-existent red component, and the luminosity is getting really bad. If we go to purple, I'm guessing we're going to get some a little bit more red in there. And yes, the shape moves up. So live preview is indeed live. It's it's changing real Visio data. It's updating real Visio shape sheet values based on smart formulas that you might have put into them. So this is really cool. It'll probably be, it can probably be really confusing in some instances as well, but I think it's pretty exciting and I still haven't thought of practical applications of this. But at any rate, live preview is great because you don't have to pick an attribute, decide whether you like it, and hit undo. You can decide as you browse, so to speak. So thanks for watching this. I hope all you Shapesheet fans enjoyed it. Talk to you later.